Well, if it isn't another version of the simulated universe throwing us into a buttload of pain and misery, then I don't know what it is. The new update to the simulated universe, the Divergent Universe, brings us a much anticipated content update to one of the best endgame systems in the game, and it also gives us an update on how we can acquire our planner ornaments. For that, Mihoyo decided to partially revamp how the simulated universe works. But don't worry, we are going to work together in order to sort out what the heck is going on and what changes they made compared to our normal simulated universe. Keep in mind that the simulated universe has existed for quite a while now, so I will not explain all the fundamental systems, but rather the changes they made. But before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe, I am currently covering Star Rail and Genshin, as well as a little bit of Withering Waves. In order to unlock the Divergent Universe, you first need to unlock the Radiant Feldspar. Yes, because apparently saving the entirety of Panacone wasn't enough of a prerequisite. So do your Trailblaze story, meet Herta on her space station, and once you're done with that, voila, you have access to the Divergent Universe. The game itself explains all the systems fairly well, but there are a few features at least for you to discover. The most impactful feature is that you can now change your team in whatever way you want to, even when doing your run. This is a much needed feature because it allows you to change your teams depending on the blessings you get. Nothing is more annoying than playing a Kafka damage over time team, but all you get are preservation and hunt blessings. On top of that, you have now the option to change your blessings if they don't fit your playstyle. So you can either change your team or you can change your blessings. Entirely up to you. The second feature is that you no longer choose your path at the beginning of your simulated universe run. Instead, you now choose between equations. These equations are basically extremely powerful blessings you can unlock as you gather your normal blessings. Some equations require you to get destruction and nihility blessings, while others require you to get hunt and preservation blessings. All these equations are extremely specialized. Some are specifically for break effect teams, while others are for damage over time teams or crit damage teams. They are essentially the lifeblood of your Divergent Universe run. They are extremely powerful and really change the overall performance of your teams, especially when talking about legendary equations. They can be difficult to unlock, especially once you have 5 equations active at the same time, but thankfully you can not only change your blessings, but you can also change your equations. Whenever you are on a boss floor, you will have access to the workbench of creation. Everyone who has played Ruinmaid's storyline might recognize these small and adorable creatures. They effectively represent your upgrade store. You can change your blessings and equations in exchange for fragments and you can even upgrade your already existing blessings like you are used to from the simulated universe. One aspect to point out here is that compared to the simulated universe, your upgrade potential is fairly limited. You have 4 points of heat and you need to use those points in order to upgrade your blessings. In total you will have 12 points, 4 points per boss floor, but they don't carry over. As such you need to be extremely careful when it comes to spending those points. Sometimes upgrading a legendary blessing might not be as impactful as upgrading let's say for normal blessings. Right? So be really really careful when it comes to that. Thankfully enough. The Divergent Universe is not as difficult as Golden Gears. While a Protocol 6 one in the Divergent Universe can be challenging, it is not comparable to a Conundrum 12 one in Golden Gears. As simple as that. Moving away from blessings and the like, one other feature is that all your characters will be upgraded to level 80 with full traces, relics and light cones. Your existing characters won't be overwritten, but the ones you haven't leveled yet will be boosted so that you can use them. This is extremely, I guess, impactful in a way you could say, because it allows you to try out different characters, team compositions and so on. Lastly, before we move on to some quality of life changes, there is a new talent tree. If you have played Golden Gears or Swarm Disaster, this won't be new to you. But for those who haven't, it is basically a way to farm points and unlock buffs. Because let's be honest here, who doesn't like farming more points, it is like asking for homework during summer break. We are talking about more HP, crit rate, crit damage, break effects, specific effects and so on. Just take a look at the talent tree on your own and see what you like the most. As mentioned before, you can also farm ornaments in the Divergent Universe and they weren't kidding when they said they would make ornament farming easier. 
Now you can directly challenge different bosses. Think of it a little bit like speed dating, but instead of awkward small talk, you get to fight for your life. Fun times. Every boss has a specific set of ornaments you can farm. You can bring your blessings, equations, curios and so on into those boss fights and the system for this is very simple. After completing a Divergent Universe run, you can save everything you got into a very specific save file. That save file will reset every Monday, but while it is active you can use it in order to challenge whatever boss you want to fight. This basically turns your ornament farming into a domain, just like your relics, trace materials and so on. And yeah, that is basically all you need to know when it comes to the Divergent Universe. There is a lot more to it, like the Probability Museum, or New Blessings in Curios, or Changed Blessings in Curios, and even a, I guess you could call it, Free Battle Pass. All of this is accessible to everyone, and like I said, it is not as difficult as Golden Gears. Just take your time, get used to it from all the materials you can get, and as a small teaser, they even showcase the next expansion to the Divergent Universe, which will happen in 80 days. So overall, a very good update to the simulated universe. It takes our existing principles and simply builds upon them. Let me know what you think of the Divergent Universe down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and for more massive German accent content, make sure to hit that notification bell. Until next time, remember to have a great day or night, wherever you live, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.